ChatGPT, this is the most powerful AI tool, or at least one of the most powerful tools, guys. And right now, there is also finally the first official ChatGPT client for Android because I'm running it fairly on the S23 Ultra. Of course, still not yet installed, but it's official. It's created by OpenAI. There is, of course, one catch. It's not so easy to get here, right? But thanks to Collins from the VST chat, I was able to follow his instructions. So shout out to Collins. Great job, mate. I'm gonna show you guys what you need to get this going. But first things first, guys, let me show you what is going to happen if you don't have what I already have to get to here. So the first time I understood that there is this chat GPT client, of course I wanted to install it because I'm waiting really to get to the final thing. And hey, the screen I'm getting is, yeah, I can register and then apparently wait because this thing is coming soon. So if you really are like me, you're gonna press the install button and then the Google Play Store very kindly will let you know that, yeah, it's going to install this app when it's available. So of course, me don't like this. And again, thanks to comments from the VST chat, I know what has to be done to get to there. So the first thing guys we need is a VPN. In this case, call and advice to use the Winescribe VPN, the free version guys. So once you download it, okay, you can register with a login there free, right? There are some free locations now. I use the Atlanta. So just connect to the US VPN free again, Winescribe Atlanta. Then guys, what you need to do, I had to change the account, use my secondary Google account, then you need to close uh, the Play Store, guys. Then, in the same time, still connected to the VPN, how do we know we have this key here? Then just put chat GPT, and then voila, guys, the magic should be there. You should get the install button. Now, of course, I'm doing this in real time with you directly, and while some people are still trying to disturb me on Viber, so, apparently it's installed. Hey, this is the ChatGPT on my desktop now. I'm going to install the mobile client, try to log in, guys. And if this works, again, all the credit goes to calling from the VST chat. So apparently I was able to install it. Now open, guys, I'm gonna to try to log in with my Google account and see what is gonna happen. Very nice animation. Let's go, let's brainstorm ChatGPT. All right, it looks quite nice. I'm, of course, using the same account I'm using on my desktop. Welcome to ChatGPT. The official app is free, sync your history across devices. That's great. The chat GPT can be inaccurate. Yes, we know this. Uh, don't share sensitive info and control your chat history. So that's quite nice. And this is now the official chat GPT client. Let me just try to type something. Hey, hello. How can I assist you today? Cool. Where can I see my history, guys? YouTube video titles that, of course, none of you is clicking on. But OK, I was able to synchronize the history there and also try to use ChatGPT official client for the first time. What I want still to test is I'm going to shut down my VPN and I'm going back to my official account and I want to see if ChatGPT is still enabled. Oh yes, it is enabled so I can still open it and use it again without the VPN. Really great job, Colin. Thank you so much, guys. And if you like content like this, guys, yeah, just sub for the channel and stay safe. So for now, yeah, let's just type bye and see you around. Goodbye.